Hi everybody, nice talking to you today and I want to share a little story with you about um, goats and pigs on the islands here on the Pacific Coast. Now, I thought I'd share this story with you because I did that little video for you about bananas on boats and I got lots of responses to that. So I, I thought I'd share some more trivia for you. Something to think about when you're out the islands fishing. So have you ever thought or asked yourself why when you're offshore in an island like Guadalupe, 200 miles offshore, and you see a mile long of goats on the island, how they got there? Or why San Clemente Island had goats for many, many years till the Navy got rid of them? Catalina's got goats, some of the Channel Islands had goats and pigs. So you ever ask yourself how those animals got there? So I don't know if this is the true story, but I was told that that was all done by the Spaniards. When the Spaniards were exploring uh, the Pacific Ocean and the coast of California and back in the day when they would bring the Christians with them and they'd started the missions in Loreto and go all the way up toward San Francisco, those early Spanish explorers, uh, they spent months, sometimes years on their ships as they traveled around on the seas and exploring. Those are true adventure guys. You know, they had a theory that, uh, and they believed that if a a ship got shipwrecked and the men on the, the ship were able to survive, that they should be able to eat. So what they would do on any larger island that they came across, they would drop off two goats and two pigs. And from what I was told, that's why Guadalupe Island has so many goats. And when you, like again, San Clemente for years, used to see goats on it all the time, but the Navy got rid of them. And then up in the Channel Islands, there used to be goats and pigs too and then they got rid of them too. So it was the Spanish that brought them. The Spaniards brought them on their ships and they dropped them off and that's why there's goats and pigs on the islands. At least that's what I've been told. All right, so I hope you like this little story. I got some other ones for you. I have one coming up about perch that I'll be sharing with you soon. I think that you're gonna enjoy. All right, don't forget to subscribe right here to my YouTube channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll talk to y'all really soon.